What if I were to tell you that the most haunted place in Salem was actually a yellow house? This is not what we expected, and it's a hell of a lot darker, and it's actually starting to scare me. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, there's there's one. If you're here, blow that candle out. No! Whoa! I feel like someone's sitting on the bed. Oh my god. I feel it. Dude, I feel like I'm getting touched in the back now. You gonna be okay? I don't know. This should come out. You look worse scary. and worse now, actually. You look terrible, bro. I was just caught. All right. What is up guys? We are here right now in Salem, Massachusetts and what if I were to tell you that the most haunted place in Salem was actually a yellow house. This is one of the oldest places in Salem and Salem is notoriously known for the witch trials and you know all the haunted stuff that happens here. Everyone, if you don't live under a rock, you know what Salem, Massachusetts is. Now, uh, there's a guy coming we're going to interview and he's going to tell us about the place. He wrote a book on this house. He is a local here who's done ghosts all around here for years. So we're gonna see how this goes. Apparently this place has over 12 bedrooms and the haunted hat man is on the third floor. Again, we're gonna learn more about this place when the guy arrives. But there is a special guest joining us on today's episode. We're gonna go inside and meet him though. We're gonna take the side route. We got also Radic, by the way, joining us if you remember him. Whoa! <laughs> Radic is always popping into our channel randomly at the best times though. Now this house though is super, super old and you're gonna see on the inside how it actually is. Dude, check it out though. The original fireplace was right here. It's, they're trying to make it as modern as they could but keeping the history and everything still old, which is beautiful. See, if I had to think this is not haunted, I don't know. This is, it looks haunted. The outside was, I was just like, a yellow house in Salem? Yeah, but I don't know, I think this is gonna be a good one. And anyway, we got Connor here from Paranormal Files. I'm oh, and Colin. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem haunted yet because he ain't been to the third floor. True, third, true. Third well, floor is a well I was telling everyone that we're in a yellow house in Salem, not a black witch house. We're in a yellow house in Salem, so hey, I was trying to explain. Me and Colin already called our beds. Oh, hey, you okay. guys get the Y'all are getting slim pickings. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, we are staying the night, by the way. We're sleeping here, so that's good. So who's the guy that's coming? Because we're going to be interviewing. His name's Sam Beltrusis. He's the ghost tour guide, like the most famous ghost tour guide from Salem. He's written multiple books on the history of Salem. And he apparently swears that this is one of the most haunted, if not the most haunted houses in all of Salem, Massachusetts. Well, the last time I filmed with Colin and, and Connor from Paranormal Files was when we did the Hinsdale house. And you guys still to this day are giving us crazy comments about the blood ritual we did there and everything else. I read every comment, so I see it. So we're back with these guys again, and of course, it's going to get crazy. But they're about to show us where my bed is, apparently. And they think it's a joke or something, so I don't know what's going to happen. But they're gearing up. No, it's, it's, it's your sad reality. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah. yeah. So ain't the hat man apparently on the third floor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleeping with the guy that we're being you ghost hunting tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I can get better evidence than you guys now because I'm staying on the floor with them. I guess yeah, so. They're getting some. All right. We're going to get, get great evidence and then sleep. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Let's see where we'll I'm going. We'll rile them up for you. Right. make him mad and he keeps us up all night. I don't yeah, even know. You know I don't want no. See, what does the hat man look like? I never heard about a hat man ghost. Is that like Duke or something? Yeah. 
would be what he looks like. That's true hat man. Yeah, his hat man. So like I said, don't pay attention to these rooms over here. These are where we're sleeping. Okay. These look at how nice and luxurious. Wow, looks like like where George Washington slept. Literally. Don't pay attention to it. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, put blinders on, pal. Okay. Just don't look at this room. The king suites. The king suite, baby. Hey, we're gonna get nice. We're gonna get good ones too. You get your own floor up here. Yeah, they're giving us a whole room. Yeah. Dang, why is it like cold up here? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Uh, why is it dark and cold up here? So yeah, this is Raddick's room. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Look at the difference! Yeah, this is... I mean it, it's perfect size for Raddick. Yeah, that's true. I'm a small guy, I'll take it. And then oh, it's better than nothing. And then Josh, you get a little bit better room oh. over here. Alright. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, boys! We went from George Washington oh, suite to like, like Harry Potter's nook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just Harry Potter's nook in the beginning, number one, underneath but, the floorboards. But, but. These are y'all rooms, but uh, we have our me and Colin's second uh, recreational yes. room over here. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna be working out if, late if, into the if, night, you know. If y'all act music. right. Maybe we can we'll hang. let you hang out in there. All right, they gotta behave, be bro. Okay, be let me see. Or if you guys get scared, you can always come over here. So this is me and Colin's uh, sitting beds. These are pretty sick. Yeah. So we're this gonna be our just day room. chilling in yeah. here, having a good time. Love side. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, Red. Oh, oh, Red. Oh, Red. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> this is not I got your too room, excited. Pal. This looks yeah. nice. Like I said. You gotta be invited in here. So, so yeah. maybe if I get some good evidence, you guys could bump me up to just be in here, like a yeah, little yeah, VIP. Yeah, y'all can uh, All right. share one of if the twin beds. Man okay. On camera, we will allow you into this room. Hi there, my name is Sam Baltrusis. I'm an author, journalist, and tour guide. I actually gave tours in Salem for about eight years or so, and uh, I have written th uh, 16 books altogether, but three of the books have focused on Salem. Uh, I didn't know until later on after giving tours in Salem that I'm actually related to the bad guys, the Putnam family who were responsible for uh, accusing 62 innocent people of witchcraft. My distant cousin, Ann Putnam Jr. was one of the afflicted girls. Uh, behind us here is the Broad Street Cemetery and people, people ask me, where do you go in regards to cemeteries? So the two main ones is the old burying point, which is where the witch trials memorial is. The other one is Howard Street Cemetery, but this is sort of the hidden cemetery that not too many people know about. Uh, this is where George Corwin, uh, George Corwin was, uh, he's, he was buried here with the other Corwins in the family, but his story is, uh, is pretty horrific. Uh, he was a sheriff during the Salem Witch Trials of 1692, uh, was known for being extremely sadistic, and uh, they had to bury him in the basement of his property, which is the Joshua Ward House. And after the backlash happened, uh, he was removed and buried in the cemetery right behind us. For those that want to know the basics, in 1692, 20 innocent men and women were accused and executed of, for witchcraft. It was about a year-long ordeal. Uh, one of the the the, the actual the the, um, the magistrates, the judges during the Salem witch trials was Jonathan Corwin, and his property is right behind us. It's the witch house, and he was responsible for deciding the fates of the innocent men and women who were accused, which was around 140, 150 people altogether. Uh, and then uh, George Corwin was kind of the, the one that enforced what happened. So the, the judges ruled that uh, Bridget Bishop was a witch. So he was responsible for carting her off to be executed. And so this property here uh, to me is hallowed ground in the sense that this is the line that the innocent men and women traveled, it's called the judge's line, to head to be executed at Proctor's Ledge, which is behind a, a Walgreens. <laughs> yeah, I, always, I always thought that's so weird, like you'd think it'd be like this really creepy rock like in the woods, but yeah. Walgreens. Well, it, Salem wants it to be in Gallows Hill, and like, that's what we were told, but the people, actually in my first book, I did say that, um, that it's basically the craggy rock right behind the Walgreens. And I highly recommend going there just to kind of pay respect to the innocent men and women who were executed. And George Corwin, he, he went along with it. He would also know to be, he was actually really aggressive towards the victims, kind of treated them as non-humans. So not a good man. 
Egyptians, but generally they were they were brought to their property and buried here. And that's why there's so many Corwins here, is because this was Corwin property. And that's been an ongoing uh, drama, or not drama, like a uh, mystery when it comes to Salem. Where where did the bodies go? And we, we think that we have a few, uh, we know where some of the remains are, like George uh, Jacobs, who was, he was buried with two canes. It was an elderly gentleman uh, who was accused by his granddaughter. And we found what we think was his remains, uh, and they were carbon dated back to 1600, 1692, uh, and his, the two canes were next to his, his remains. And actually a local historian kept his remains in a box <laughs> in his closet until they were actually uh, proven that they were George Jacobs remains and his body was buried at the Rebecca Nurse Homestead, which is in modern day Danvers. Do you think it's possible that some could even be buried like underneath like some of these houses just because back then there were no houses like right there or? Yeah, so I think it's a very pop possible that um, that the cemeteries actually extended, extended beyond what where we are currently. Uh, it was very, very common, especially in the 1600s, to bury your uh, family members on the property. So, uh, so if, if they, um, their families, of course, would try to rescue the uh, the family members. So we do think that uh, some of the the innocent victims were buried on their family property, uh, and so it is very likely that definitely the Corwin family was buried here who had major ties to the Salem witch trials, but other members of uh, 1692, the players in the witch trials were buried near here. Um, I don't think spirits are necessarily bound at a specific location. And I think that the location that we are going to look at is has a different uh, vibe to it and may or may not track attract energies or spirits from the neighborhood. So after the witch trials in 1692, uh, George Corwin actually is said to have been cursed. So when I say cursed, he uh, died mysteriously in his 30s, a few years after the Salem witch trials. Because he was so sadistic during the witch trials, they had to hide his body. So they buried him in the basement of the Joshua Ward house, which was his property at the time, right behind us. And he um, was buried because people were so angry at George Corwin Corwin, uh, because of all the all the things he did towards the innocent men and women during 1692, that they were worried that his body was going to be ripped apart. So they had to hide the body. Uh, after a few years, the body was removed and actually brought here uh, and given a proper burial. But they did it on the hush hush because he was probably Salem's most hated man. Damn, and it just happens to be our Airbnb <laughs> right that we're ghost investigating is across the street from here. Right. That's crazy. I had no idea that he was buried here. Yeah, and that's the thing. So a lot. We, so Salem is kind of weird about its ghosts, and so they don't want to necessarily talk about them. But we all know that Salem is extremely haunted, uh, almost to the point if you talk about them, they will come and visit you. So I'm a little, actually, a little scared myself to kind of talk about George Corwin specifically because I've been scratched by what I believe is George Corwin when I walked up closer to the Joshua Ward House. That house actually was was vacant for many, many years and was considered the most haunted house in Salem, but now again, it's a posh uh, uh, overnight haunt. Uh, but the Derby house uh, that we're going to actually has, it's right in the same neighborhood. It's considered Corwin property and it's considered the judge's line. So I believe the energy that's beneath us is what I would say is a ley line. So there's an energy kind of leading you uh, underneath the ground that heads to Proctor's Ledge where the innocent men and women were hanged for witchcraft. It's all hallowed ground. So anywhere you go in Salem, uh, something happened in 1692. I will say this, this was waterfront property. So uh, the Salem the Salem uh, River Harbor uh, was basically coming up. So the water actually came all the way up to this, to this property. So this was on the, the ledge of uh, the water, the waterfronts. Well, you gotta <laughs> walk over to the house? Sure, let's go. Awesome. Yeah, dude, I had no clue about this cemetery Me either. At all. This Thanks for taking one. us. It's actually the first time. I'm actually grateful that you guys stayed over here because I've never talked about the cemetery before. It's always the other other two. Yeah. <laughs> Captivated that entire time, damn. Here we go, we're going in. All right, so you're standing in the Derby house. It's now an uh, Airbnb or what I say is a Scarebnb. Uh, it's been a stop on our tours for many years and I've been a tour guide 
uh, since 2012. Uh, we would talk about the house and the fact that there have been reports of a woman kind of peering out of the windows as if she's trapped almost. Uh, there's a, a ghost kid that's been reported and also people that have stayed in this, this house have had prophetic dreams and usually the dream is that someone is trapped in the house wow. um, and someone is trapping them and they can't get out. Uh, <clears throat> and this was built in 1848 so that the actual house dates back to the 1800s. Uh, Derby was a pretty prominent name in the 1800s and a lot of the homes especially in this area uh, was uh, it was from like it was basically from profiteering. So they were pirates and making money, lots of money from uh, from exporting goods without paying taxes. Uh, so this property here, so the the spirits in, the, in here, um, you'll see people are seeing a woman, and you know as someone who picks up on the uh, as a clairvoyant. Um, I think the windows, I mean, the mirrors are very significant and also the windows are very significant. Um, when you would give it, I would give a tour, I would bring a group out here and I would talk about the, how this place is, um, you know, it was actually a residential property for many years and they actually opened it up as a scare B&B. And um, you can see the light come on when I would talk about this place being haunted. So it's always been a stop on the tours and now people can actually stay at the spend breakfast. Uh, I. What we also reported is people seeing what looks like a woman uh, looking out the window. And you can see her face and she's wearing, I would say like colonial era garb. Uh, and her, it's almost like her face is in terror, like get me out of here, get me out of here. Um, a part of me thinks that too, there was a great fire that happened in the early 1900s. And I feel like the, this whole area was salvaged from the fire. Uh, so maybe there, there was you know, something related to the fire. It was the Great Fire in Salem that destroyed 75% of Salem. And what's interesting about that fire specifically, um, Giles Corey, who was the gentleman who was pressed to death over a two day period, his spirit was spotted by seven to eight people throughout Salem, almost as a harbinger, uh, warning that something bad was about to happen. And he predicted the fire. He did. Well, people say and this is actually so the whole when I heard this whole story about Giles Corey, I'm like, OK, yeah, whatever. Um, his specter appears and something bad happens to Salem. But people have reported it since. And so when you see his specter, it's not good. Something bad will happen to Salem. And part of me feels like maybe the man wearing a hat could be Giles Corey. Uh, Giles Corey is a harbinger spirit, uh, almost like he's warning that something bad is going to happen to you or happen to Salem. Uh, and when he was spotted by seven to eight people, he um, and I'm like, well, how do you know what he looked like? And he was an elderly man. He had ragged clothing near the spot where he was pressed to death. Uh, so that that was reported by multiple people. It was reported in the 1800s by Nathaniel Hawthorne, uh, who was a famous author, wrote the Scarlet Letter, uh, House of Seven Gables. And he talks about the the wizard, uh, he called him the wizard, uh, Giles Corey appearing before something bad happened. So it's been a legend that's been going on for hundreds of years. Wow. And also too, like, so the devil was really real in 1692. So that was, they thought the devil was on the corner. Um, they called, they also referred to the devil as Old Snatch. The whole idea in Salem is if you signed the, the devil's book, um, that's Anne Jr. supposedly would have these hallucinations or these dreams where she would uh, see the locals communing with the, uh, the devil himself, uh, which was, she later called uh, Reverend George Burroughs the devil. Uh, and so they were signing his book, uh, and he was a reverend who lived in Dan modern day Danvers, and he went to Maine, <clears throat> basically convert the Native Americans to Christianity. So he, was, he wasn't a bad man, but he owned, owed my family money. So they were, <laughs> I think of kind of accusing him because they wanted their money back. Uh, so sense. it was about money. It wasn't about, he was actually the devil himself. So the devil was very, very real to the innocent, uh, to the people of Salem in 1692. Wow. All right, so for me personally, so it's basically, so there, there is a woman here um, and I'm getting that, so she's identifying her name as Sarah. Um, so, hi ma'am, is your name Sarah? Yes, so crossing for me is yes. Are you stuck here? Yes. Are you Sarah Derby? No. Were you a servant here? Yes. So I'm getting that she was, she may have been a servant here. Um, I'm seeing her, she's actually gonna be upstairs. That's where I felt on the third. On the, it's the on the third area. floor. 
All right, this is where I think the, the, the main location for the hauntings, this is where the spirits kind of like hibernate and this is where they go. They're tight up here too. Yeah. So I would highly recommend, so I'm really feeling heavy right now. My chest is very heavy. Um, I would recommend doing uh, a lot of the investigation is up here tonight. I think that either room has activity going on. I just feel kind of like oppressed, almost like I can't breathe right now. And like my, something's like heavy on my, on my chest. I will say this when Giles Corey has been spotted. He almost has left um, a feeling of like being pressed to death. So I'm kind of getting that sensation to be honest with you right now. When it, so I had my first experience with the hat man back in 2019, early 2019. This is right around the time that my mother did paranormal, uh, so, sorry, my mother did research in regards to my ancestors, my genealogical research on my family that I was related to the Putnam family. So I had my first experience actually before I found out that I was related to the Putnams uh, in early 2019. And I was working the overnight shift at a hotel uh, right on Essex Street. And uh, I heard like a banging noise. I heard like a moan, but not a good moan it was like ah, ah. Uh, and then I ran upstairs and I saw the man wearing a hat and uh, I say that kind of it's taken me a while to even talk about him because it's kind of haunted my dreams since 2019 uh, he had red glowing eyes I was frozen in fear uh, sitting outside at three in the morning outside of a hotel that I was working the overnight shift and he <clears throat> telepathically kind of like connected to me and he was like can you see me? I'm like, yes, I can see you. I then heard what sounded like a woman screaming down the street. Uh, and I, I kind of like broke from the frozen state that I was in. I ran down the street and there was nobody there. And the location where I, where I saw or heard the noise, the woman screaming, was the alleyway where the lady in the blue dress has been reported. Uh, and she has been caught on camera. And I actually have a photo of her. I don't have it on me currently, but I, I can uh, I can pass it on to you guys if you want to see the, the lady in blue. Um, so my friends, so after that first incident, I actually had a book signing for my book, Wicked Salem, in May of 2019. And at this point is when my mother, uh, who is Southern, she's from Florida. She's like, Sam. I'm like, yes, mom. Uh, she's like, I think we burned witches. I'm like, mom, they were, they were not burned. They were hanged. Give me some names. And she said, Priscilla Gould Putnam. And that is our great, great grandmother. And she's actually the matriarch of the Putnam family and the grandmother to uh, Thomas Putnam, who was to me, the ultimate bad guy in the Salem witch trials. And then Ann Putnam Jr. Uh, my friends. So after finding that out, um, I was uh, giving a book a book tour uh, in Salem and talking about my book Wicked Salem, and I saw the man again. And so I was giving my my lecture at the Hawthorne Hotel in the library, and there was a what looked like a man, kind of like walking the feet of a of a man, like walking behind me. And I kept looking over, and I saw I saw the man, but he was kind of like hiding from the people. Um, and this began sort of an ongoing stalker relationship with this entity, almost like he wants to communicate with me and I'm terrified of him. Uh, and I think that my fear actually is giving, making him more strong to the point where he is attacking my friends. So I have my friend Dana who, she and I, she's my witch friend and she and I do, um, she's related to Elizabeth Howe who is one of the victims and I'm related to the Putnams. So we've done a lot of work together trying to um, relieve the guilt that I feel about being associated with the Putnam family. And she and I do what we call an apology ritual where we go and we um, apologize for the actions of our, of our relatives. <clears throat> and, and I think that um, being a descendant of the bad guys has given me a location, a, a sort of a, my passion is to give a voice to them and to hopefully find post-mortem peace for them. But while we were doing this ritual, we were talking about my experience seeing the man with a hat, um, I start to become aggressive as if I was channeling, which I do have a, a tendency of channeling, and I was kind of like yelling at uh, people on the street, and she's like, this is not Sam, I'm gonna put up a crystal shield of protection, which is something that I use a lot out in the field. She got bit, her leg got bit, you can see the marks on her legs. Um, I have a friend who was visiting from Savannah, Georgia with her mother, and I was giving them a tour. I gave them a heads up, I'm like, listen, I've had people be attacked here um, while, I, like, while I'm giving tours, and this is since uh, 2019, and she was, Waiting actually to get to get 
breakfast and she almost got hit over the head with a concrete block. Um, and while she was waiting, it literally fell right next to her. Uh, I have another friend who stayed at this at this uh, bed and breakfast and she was, we were doing a weekend investigation, actually did some investigating here as well. Um, but we were meeting at Old Town Hall and she was stuck here, could not get out of the house. Uh, the doors, she heard footsteps and the door slamming and she was mortified uh, and, and she was stuck in the house and she couldn't get out for about 12 hours. So... I think, well, first of all, that's just crazy. I know, right? <laughs> but I'd say for our investigation, it's probably a good thing that we had you here if we want to try to talk to it, you know, to come out and interview if we want to, you know, invite this thing in to come speak with us. Yeah, and, and, I, and I will say this. So as I mentioned, like, it's not at one location. I did have the initial encounter with at a bookstore on Essex Street. But the thing is, it seems to be following me all over Salem to the point where when it gets dark, I'm afraid to be in Salem after dark. Damn, so we need to put you in a glass cube and just investigate <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. and I will say this, it doesn't, at it doesn't attack me, it attacks my everybody else. So I, I feel oddly safe, um, but I also know that I make it stronger by being afraid. So I try my best not to be afraid. Um, but I will say that um, it's been, it's a work in progress, so I'm still a little scared right now. <laughs> it's so, crazy, it almost seems like it doesn't attack you because it knows that it can use you as a tool. Yeah, to yeah like it wants help, your energy. Like, Feed it. Like pain, yeah. Yeah. get energy off of you, because you can see it, and you said it, like it's kind of channeled itself through you sometimes. Yeah. Too, which is, yeah. Very scary. It's very scary. And like, I don't want to be a conduit for a man wearing a hat. Yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like, I, I mean, and I think my, my biggest problem is the fact that I do have sympathy for it, uh, even though it's monstrous and has red glowing eyes. I have, um, you know, if he is Giles Corey, I, I mean, I feel bad for him. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, like, is it Giles Corey or, or is it something presenting itself as Giles Corey? Uh, we talked a little bit about egregores. When you kind of give tours, and I've been giving tours over and over again um, on the streets of Salem, did I create something like a mm -hmm. like an egregore or a, th or a thought mm -hmm. form and not know it? So I guess at, at the end of the day, before we start tonight, who or what are you feeling in here? Where should, do you think we should focus? I'm feeling trapped, like I wanna get out. Like that, so I'm really, really feeling like I'm stuck here. So that kind of ties in with my friend being stuck in this, at this place. Right. Um, I, my chest is super heavy. So that to me would be an indicator of possibly a Giles Corey. Um, I also feel that we're so close to George Corwin. George Corwin was the, the sadistic sheriff in 1692. Um, could be George Corwin. So I would love to know the identity of what this thing is. Is it a non-human entity that feeds off my fear or is it actually a victim of the Salem witch trials and wants to communicate with me and reach out to me? Well, I think we should try to get an answer. It'd be interesting to you know. Did your camera stop rolling? Yeah. You just, just, just died? Yeah, the whole it's new. Oh my god. It's I just new. got that on camera. And it, it's, <laughs> oh, that's about, so we're on we're on a ley line, so it actually drains batteries. Wow. Yeah, so like yeah. I don't even I wasn't even preparing for it to die, so <laughs> what happened on it. That's crazy. <laughs> you got that out recording yeah. still? I guess you got something. It's been filming the whole time. Well, I guess maybe that's a sign we should start. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got your screen when the when the Dude, back is the back. I'll send you that clip. Yeah. I think we're good, don't you? Yeah. Dude, that's yeah. crazy. Dude, from back oh, that's here. That's wild. Dude. Seriously, this is brand new. I charge everything. The timing before. right from at the end. From where I was standing, too. it said battery exhausted, and the whole thing just shut off. I'm like, wait, what? Dude. That's crazy. I mean, how weird is that when he stops the interview or like is the final point? You know, saying, yeah. I want an answer. Boom. Boom! Immediately kills Done. the battery. That is nuts. Looks like yeah. for a good night. Too. Yeah, it looks yeah. like we're locking him up here. <laughs> oh, this is his room. Like, yeah, this is what we told you. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so guys, when we were upstairs, um, I felt strongly, we're talking about the man with the hat kind of like following me and stalking me throughout Salem. I felt him walk into the room right when the batteries went out and they're known for feeding off the batteries and off of energy. So I would be really wary of the, the man wearing a hat possibly showing up tonight. 
All right. Upstairs, specifically, Upstairs, you though. feel. Yeah. I feel like he walked into the room. Like, uh, so like he you could, could just be anywhere in the house? In, in the house, but he's kind of, he's, That's he, spot. he's sort of stalking me and anywhere I go. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm like basically dropping off my baggage for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> right. And last time we all know how well that ended. <laughs> trapped in here for a whole day. Yeah. I still got to go to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, as you can see, it's dark now. Sam has now left. And we're gonna start the investigation here at the Henry Derby house. Again, like I think everything he said does make sense. I ended up looking up the boston.com uh, news and blah, 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 all these other websites. And this Henry Derby house came up on multiple websites talking about the stories that he said, how if they feel tight or there's something upstairs on the third floor or how um, there's, a, there's a girl that's roaming here, a little boy that's here or even more. So all the stories are making sense that everyone's saying and what they have been experiencing. But are we gonna have a crazy night? Let's find out right now as we start the investigation here. So we're about to gear up and start, but really quick because I've never heard of the hat, man. I've been investigating now for what, like three to four years? But Colin read up on it and I wanted you guys, I wanted you to actually explain to my viewers what the hat man is. So the hat man is an entity that people claim to see right when they're falling asleep. It's almost like a sleep paralysis demon. I don't want to use the word demon because it's so overused yeah. nowadays, but it is something that isn't supposed to be human but it follows people and it's not a good sign to see the hat man like sam was saying when he saw the hat man bad things happened it's almost like giles corey and the curse he was talking about when people see this hat man soon afterwards they'll have a death in the family it even mm -hmm. says online that people get scratched they wake up with bruises bites it makes sense with what sam was telling us and we didn't even get this on camera we got him telling us that he felt like the hat man came into the room upstairs, but then off camera, and he said, don't record this, he said, in his ears, he was hearing the sounds of, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Like, he told us that right here when we oh, were filming. We, you weren't even here. I, yeah. I didn't hear that at all, yeah. yeah. So he Dang. said that it was like, it was ramping up and it's almost aggressive energy, so. <sighs> but yeah, the hat man, people see the hat man. It's like a notorious legend, almost kind of like, you know, a skinwalker or right. some sort of entity that's distinct. It's the hat man. It's not the ghost of a guy who died not, wearing a hat. And it's not just like a Salem hat man. No, it could no. just be anywhere. Yeah. Okay. And it makes sense with this house having history, but something else right. you know, has come yeah, into no, this building sure. and it's hurt people. It's locked people in here. Yeah. And it so, could be the hat man doing it. Probably. I really hope it's not because if it is the hat man, we're in trouble. We are in for a very bad night. After that clip, we set up and began our investigation very abruptly. Things started going off right away. Sam, Sam has been saying though that this hat man or this entity that's here in this house, that's here in Salem, has been like stalking him every time he comes here. Mm -hmm. so, so much to the point where he doesn't come here at night. Well, yeah. but he- Oh, oh, oh! Dude, what? It's because we're literally, and we're talking. Every time we say hat man, man every time man. we say hat man. Dude, both times we said hat man. And now it goes off. But the thing Dude, is, I'm scared to do this ritual, honestly. <laughs> I'm a little fucking scared. But the crazy thing is that Sam has been here doing tours for years and years. But there's this one spirit that scared him away from this town, from doing investigations here, and it's the hat man. And he still doesn't have an answer of what this thing is. Well, this is the, the window, by the way, where they see the woman. I came from a dark place. Oh, oh my God. This is insane. Fuck Everything that. has been so on point Immediately. to what we're talking about. Yeah. I like that we're sleeping here. <laughs> it's crazy. So, to finish out what I was saying, we're going to start the video with a ritual. This is all stuff we bought today in Salem. We bought the Ouija board. We bought the Florida water. We bought the chalk. We bought the candle. What we're going to do here is attempt to summon 
the hat man. I know that it sounds far-fetched that you can sit here and summon a spirit, but that's not what we're actually doing. We're just sending out, if you can imagine, oh, hat man again, right when I said hat man. Dude, right when I fucking said it. You can't make this up. That's the thing, you can't make this up right now. Unknown. Dude, it's right when we talk about the ritual too. Have you noticed that? I love how Radix just that observing. Was that was her! That was her! There's two people what? here. What? Fucking hat man and the woman. What? It's the woman setting this off, trying to get us not to do the ritual. Dude, she's been distracting us right when we've been talking about it. You think they're trying to protect us? Down, oh. down what? Oh, I keep getting chills. Me too. Especially because this run pod keeps going off right behind me. <laughs> yeah, that'll be scared if I were you. Yeah, so to finish what I was gonna say so we can actually start this. We're sending out almost an EMP or just a huge wave. It's like taking a cell phone or a telephone and just calling out to the unknown and seeing who picks up, letting them know that we're here willing to talk. We're gonna do this ritual where we write the hat man, his name on the reverse side of a Ouija board. We're gonna burn the spirit summoning candle that we purchased today at a Wiccan shop here in Salem. We're also gonna cleanse ourselves with Florida water, which if you know voodoo is a very good substance to actually improve your energy so we don't get harmed. But yeah, we're calling out right now to the unknown and we don't know who the hell is about to pick up. Hopefully, the hat man picks up the phone. We're gonna, we're gonna manifest him. We're still writing his name down. Still manifesting that spirit or entity. So hopefully something darker doesn't answer. <sighs> oh! Steps on, went up there. That's where our ball was placed. Yeah. Does the ball drop down? I don't know. Why is that thing all of a sudden going off? Right when I said something darker. Is there already something dark here? Something's touching and playing with that one there. Is there, are they over like literally your shoulder now? All right, well, it seems like someone is here and they want to talk to us. I think we do the ritual. Yeah, let's do it. So. We're gonna do this on the reverse side of this Ouija board right here. We just bought this today in Salem. It's fresh, no one has ever used this thing. So this is gonna keep our energies Like clean. safer? Yeah, all you gotta do is take a little bit and rub your hands with it like that. All right. I'm gonna pass it around. You want me to film you doing it? Yeah, sure, we have two angles, baby. Okay. Ooh. It smells kind of good. good yeah. So you just put it, you just oh. put it in your hand. Oh, just, oh, I have a lot. I'm protecting <laughs> I'm really protecting really myself. Hey, extra safe, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Okay, Radic? Yeah. Oh, I gotta do it too. Of course. You gotta do it. Right. Thanks, man. I'm gonna hold your camera. I got it. I got, you gotta, yeah, I got you it. You gotta up. do both hands. Yeah, I'm gonna rub, rub it, it on. Yeah, I got you. All right, it's on there. Okay. That smell really nice. Well, Florida water is, is cool. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. Well, I mean nice. Dang. Okay. So, join hands. Oh, snap. How do we? We're gonna try, do that. try to join pinkies or something. Okay. <laughs> just, just, just for the beginning. So I can't even. <laughs> Dude, I can't even. <laughs> no, this isn't working. Okay, everybody, just repeat after me. Okay, whoever's here, now repeat after me. We are reaching out to the hat man. We are reaching, reaching out, out to the hat, hat man. man. If you are here in the house Ice. with us, if you are here in the house with us, if you're here in the house with oh, us. Oh, 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 <laughs> if you are here in the house with us, if you, you are, are here, here in the house, house with us, us, please hear our voices. Please, please hear, hear our voices. And come into this room. And, and come into, into this room. Are you room. recording? <gasps> are you recording? Yeah, we're recording all right. With this chalk, with, with this chalk, chalk, we open a portal. We, we open, open a portal. portal. For you to cross through. For you to cross through. Into this realm. Into, into this realm. realm. And with the candle. And with the, the candle, candle. 
We provide energy. We provide, we provide energy. For you to harness. For, for you, you to harness. harness. To speak with us. To speak, to speak with, with us. Okay. It said it. Are you recording? Yes. And that went off right behind when you mentioned Hatman again. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write. You want on the side of it? Since we're going to light the candle together, I would take a tiny bit of this chalk and rub it on your hands. This is good for rituals. Okay. You're aware of me. Oh! oh. That's yes, good. That's good. You want to put the candle on the Ouija board? Yes. Okay. I'll hold it like that. We have our, all our energy at this point. As we light this candle, we invite you to come into this room and speak with us tonight. It does feel weird though. Oh. Hatman, are you here? Why am I hearing stuff like yeah, right outside right the there, damn door? Right there. I think we hear you right outside that door. Is that you? We invite you with us. Now, everybody, for an experiment, I want us to all, for the first couple minutes, sit here, listen quietly, close your eyes, and describe what inside, you're seeing. Inside, the others scare me. The others scare me, and then inside. So just close your eyes and just try to focus on the black and tell me what you see. I've done this before and it's been really crazy. Okay. Okay. Once again, to the hat man or to any other entities or people. Emma! Emma. Who's Emma supposed girl. to be the girl that was girl. like looking out the window? It the lost be. girl? It could be. Or Emma. Anybody who's here, please show us what you look like or what you want to say to us. Hear me. We're, we're listening right now. I'm trying to just focus on the black. Bite. 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 Oh, no. no. <clears throat> if that's you and you're going to bite us, grab that red light. Are you? Oh, my oh, God. No way. God. No, no way. Bro, that's scary as Wait. Do you want to talk to us now? You know, it's really weird. Arrest. This is the second time it said arrest. What if arrest was like the witch, the, the witch the, trials? Yes. Sheriff. Yes. The sheriff wants to arrest us for doing witchcraft. Exactly. Oh. See? George Corwin. Exactly. And that's the two times an arrest because we had an arrest on mine, yes. arrest on yours. And it said prison too. Yep. Is the sheriff here right now? You can walk up to any of the lights or the toys that we have and just touch them like this. Well, show us that you're here. You wanna know what's weird? I'm getting like, back of my throat's getting dry and itchy. Just out of nowhere. Really? Yeah, since we started just talking a minute ago. So I'm not sure if that means anything. I'm just, you know, bringing it out. Well, this is certainly creepy as hell to look at. <laughs> 
1800s. That's when the house was 1800s. built. Yeah, it was house built, was in, built the 1800s. in the 1800s. Just saying, yeah. pointing that out. All right, let's do one more. Sit and listen and describe. I'm let's interested. It. Well, it worked the first time. Yeah. Okay, try to connect. So, hat man. Thank you for talking. Oh my God. Pagan. Pagan. <laughs> I mean, this is a semi-pagan ritual. We're doing, we're trying to manifest something. You want to do it again? Yeah, let's see what we hear or see. We like your equipment. Oh <laughs> my God. I've never heard it say that. Me either. We like your equipment? I've never heard that. I'd love to see you blow out this candle, make a loud footstep noise, touch one of our devices. We know you're here. Hat man, show us something about yourself. We're gonna sit with our eyes closed and look. Oh! Oh! oh, oh this one! Going. This one! Right. What the fuck? No! All what of them! What the fuck? All of them! Up. Yo! This, this one's going up, this one's going no. up. No! Dude, going they up. all went off. My camera caught it off. Oh my all. God. Find my body. George Corwin! George Corwin! They don't know where his body is. No. So, you think it's under this house? Because remember, your thing said down. George Corwin Unless it's... was the sheriff and his body is no, lost. No, remember Sam also said that they don't know, they don't have, they don't know where the bodies went of the of innocent, the of the witches. the witches. Damn. Holy f Why did this all just go off I at just, once? I just got like the most like light. Has that ever happened before? before? I don't, I, not so. like that, I don't think. Yeah. Okay, so what's interesting too, Giles Corey, who he said I'm could. so freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Giles, well, we're being amazed. So Giles Corey, who he thought could be the hat man, what Sam was telling us, they don't know where his body went also. So. That's why he's like the ghost that, I mean, he suffered a horrific death, but they don't know where he is. Right. So it could be Giles Corey, too. So that's the thing. It's it could really, be, it could be the three theme of different. Tonight has to be who is it? We need it more. I almost think yeah. We can visualize again. We could we could do drs, sixties. We can do spirit boxes. Something. I was just about to say. I feel like there's like something yeah. standing like right behind me. Oh, 100 percent. They've been knocking them all out on on behind you. I'm starting to get a freaking headache now. Like actually, first it was my my throat. Now my head's starting to hurt. So I don't know if I'm getting affected by something. Photograph. Well, think about this too. Both times that we tried to connect psychically to this thing, it triggered all of the devices. You just don't feel bad? Because I'm, okay. I'm starting to get a headache I now. I have a headache too. Well, yeah, you're getting a headache? I was actually rubbing my head against the microphone earlier. I don't know if one of these cameras caught it, but. I and then, and then right after that, you said you had a headache. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's affecting all of us. Right now, good. something strong. Yeah. Something it strong's feel like, affecting It feels like us. the pressure changed in the room, because I also have a head pressure headache up here. All right. So something's definitely, like, kicking. She killed me. She killed me. Two ladies here. Two ladies! Oh. Remember, he was saying Giles might feel like he was killed by Ann Putnam. Because she was the one who came up with the idea mm, of the torture. Yes. Giles, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Two ladies here also. The young child they say is upstairs, who's a girl, and the lady right here. It looks like we conjured every spirit in this fucking house right now. Dude. Unintentionally. Yeah. And the hat man's the strongest of them all. And he's here. Oh, look, yeah. Look at what's been fucking happening. All the devices at once, dude. But let's just see one more time if we can try to connect with it. All right. Tell me what you see. Just sit for a second and go into the black. Because I think this is very interesting. Brother. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Why is it when every time I close my eyes, seriously, something's walking up behind me, conjuring okay, up? Okay, perfect. Try to connect with it right now and look at what you're seeing. Blend into it. Hat man. 
Hat man. Show us what you look like. Show us what you look Don't like. Turn this off. This is freaking me out. Obvious. But I what I'm seeing. I'm just getting a room. I'm seeing myself. Like from behind me. With this like huge dark shadow surrounding me. So I'm I'm picturing and what I'm getting is a room with a dark shadow in the room as well. I was about to say I see a snake. But my head's hurting too. My head's actually hurting though. My teeth are hurting. If that's you, can you show us that you're here? Grab one of those lights again like you just did. Or grab us. I see a shadow. We are gathering energy. Dude, it feels like they're gathering energy because I feel like I'm like losing energy. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know, it's weird. Like things are moving, like vibrating around me or something. It's like I can feel it. And that shadow's like, it almost feels like I can, I can feel the shadow of the person in the room that I'm picturing. And it also doesn't feel good or it, it doesn't feel, it just doesn't, I don't know how to explain it actually at all. It's just a sensation or a feeling I never really felt before. I see like a pair of teeth or like, like vampire fangs. Mm. I was conjured. Oh, um, I just, I opened up my eyes right I after was that. Conjured. I'm sorry. I opened up my freaking eyes after Fucking that. Fucking hat, man. Yeah, it is. It he's here. He's here. He's, and he said, don't shut this off. Don't shut this off. I was conjured. God damn, there's some strong energy. I think they're just like taking it from us though, for real. I will appear. I will appear. It's oh, literally, no it's way. literally manifesting and taking our shit. Where are you going to appear tonight? Remember, we gotta sleep here. All my hairs are sticking up right now. Yo, stop the camera. Stop, stop the, the camera. camera. Necro. And your hair. Necro. Necromancy talking to the dead. That's what this is. Necromancy. The necromancy oil that we have here. It's gonna shut stop. the it's gonna appear when we turn the cameras off and go to bed later, is what it's saying. I just won't go to bed. <laughs> I won't even go to bed. Honestly, fuck this. This place is scary as shit. Dude, when I go to bed, I'm keeping this camera I have with me, on me, and if anything happens, Found footage. I'm just turning it on. And on. <laughs> yeah. I feel like... Dude, that's, that keeps going on. Absolutely. You see that? Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel bad. It looks like it's like, messing with you, bro. Like, you look like messed up. Tightness <laughs> in my chest. Like I, I've, You look sick for For some real. reason, I'm feeling like pain all mm. over my body. Like, like deep pain. What the fuck was that? Dude, that was like voices. That was a voice. And I on video. Yeah. What's oh up with this thing is obsessed with video? <laughs> Seriously. Like Turn it. the camera off? Dude, Am I on video? It like it's been it. saying that the whole night. I've never gotten those answers either. No, the whole night though. That's a little fucking scary. I don't want to come up all night at that point. No. Oh my god. Look below. Look below. Yeah, the basement, but we can't go in there. <gasps> That was behind, dude. That was not was that, that was like, That was like below, I think. I just sounded like it. it was Far, a, that was like a bang. that. No, I heard a bang. Like I heard a knock below me. Are you trapped below us? Actually, I know yeah. you said you wanted the candle on. Bodies below. <gasps> Bodies <Yeah>. oh. below. <laughs> they are. That that that's it. Bro. I mean, we don't have to investigate no more. Dude, we talked to him about that during the interview today. Yeah. About the possibility you of there being a body here. Yeah. Can't make this up. How do you, you fucking make this up? Yeah, you, you can't, can't. You can't fucking make. We this know up. there's bodies. Okay, so who's below though? Who's below? Relative. A relative. Oh my. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, bro. We just solved like a, a fucking year murder history. case. Literally. If that's true, can you touch one of these things like this? 
Those ones over there that you've been playing with? That was a lot. That Better was a tap. Tap. Yeah. tap. Please go right. Please go, go right. right. Well, who's right? There's a bunch of rights here. True. Maybe my right, because it's, you know, well, that's where the stairs up that are. Door. Yeah, and, that'll, and that, if, if it's on your right, I mean, right, you the outside. basement Elizabeth. door is to the right Elizabeth. of Elizabeth. Is that an old name? <laughs> Elizabeth? Yeah, Elizabeth from is eight. an old name. Did that just get lower? Yeah, or am yeah, I tripping yeah, out? Now it almost went out and then it went back. If you hear, blow that candle out. <gasps> no! Whoa! What the f <laughs> no way. Get the f out of here. No, actually, no. There's three of us. <laughs> Holy f I don't want to sleep here, man. <laughs> this is- I've never seen okay, something like that in no, my whole there's life. There's actually no way that that just happened. We have all our angles. No one blew. No bullshit. That happened. I mean, the way it went out wasn't blowing. It just like- No. Slow why was it crackling? Oh, yeah. What's, uh, why, why was it crap? Holy oh, shit! No, what the fuck was that? Like honestly, no, what like, the fuck was that? Tried. And it was a full flame when we asked, and then it just slowly... Dude, What's dude. so strong? You know what's so fucking creep? I'm learning to use this. Oh. Okay, you know what's honestly giving me like full, full chills right now? The ground. The ground! <laughs> the ground! He's almost Yo, up with the bodies though! One of those just went off. I don't know which one though. Dude, how many times do you say bodies below the ground? Ha what the fuck? At least six Find times my now. Body? And we're right next to the At cemetery. least six times. Right next to the cemetery. Six times. We were in the cemetery earlier. This is unbelievable. All right, well, I say let's clean this up and let's, let's go around. This has been a great fucking session. She's she dangerous. She's dangerous. And they've been saying she a lot though. Yes. She so, killed us. So do you think she is Hatman? The figure is a she? Or is she, I think she might be wife? and put them. Yeah. It oh. could be that too. Giles, Corey, and Putnam. She's dangerous. She's the one that killed him. We gotta we should use the DR60 and go upstairs Fuck as well. Yeah, let's do it. Let's Yeah, just get our stuff ready then. So as we were about to sit up in the basement, which we half did, Connor comes back down here and just decides to check if we could go into the basement. And well, what happened? I, I saw this door here and it's right next to the kitchen. And I'm like, oh, it's the pantry. So obviously I go to check it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but, but then I notice it's very strange that you would have four locks on a pantry door. So I suggest What's down there, What's right? down there? And just happens to be the basement. the basement. So remember, with the with the spirit talker, it been saying down bodies, bones, arrested, death, all everything was just leading into the basement. And what's even crazier is this: the X, this X's and scratches, all on the door. And, and check those out on the wall right there. On the there. wall over here too. It's like something is trying to escape from the basement, but they're locked in there. It's really bizarre in line with what Sam said about oh, some being trapped trapped people here. get trapped in here. Jeez. But even the spirits that are in right. here oh, are yeah. trapped here. So then, yeah, so regardless, now we're going to head investigate the basement before we go to the third floor. Look, look down there. You gotta go around the corner. Uh -huh. Get that shot of the scratches. Wait! Yeah. One no, of our no, devices no. is already going no, no, off. No. Go. Look, look around the corner. Okay. Yo! Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> Don't you dare! Dude, our devices are going off down here already. Go run and check on them for us. Yeah, good night. I mean, I'll try. <laughs> I'm down now. I'm waiting for you guys. I'm gonna investigate. <laughs> but on another level, though. You can come out now. All right. So seriously, though, on a crazy level, 
everything was leading us down here and we generally didn't think we could because again you have to get this through an airbnb so usually airbnbs block the basement so we just assume that that's exactly what we stay in airbnbs for all our travels god it feels weird all right let's go come on i'm getting freaked out you know what though that there was something going off down here oh yeah. you heard it right I've, I've been hearing all the devices going off down here yeah just but I, to... no, we're not even down there and they're going off we're conjuring up something here in the basement. We're in like a little circle, circle of trust. Yeah. Circle of friendship. If you will. Right. Should we <laughs> chalk and make a circle? Yo. Oh. Around us? That's actually a good, oh my God, my leg hurts. That's actually a good idea. I can go grab it. How about that's that's a great idea. And we put salt around it too. Well, that would keep us in the circle. Oh yeah. I mean, that would be safe. We would be I safe, but then everything would go off like chalk. crazy around us because they don't oh, like true, salt. Oh, they want to try to get us. Yeah, they don't like salt. <laughs> we'll definitely see what happens. I definitely think salt. we should put the hell, we should put Hatman in chalk down here as well. All right, so I'm going to draw a summoning circle around us down here. But, like the lines. No, I'm specifically leaving some lines open so that they can come through into the circle to speak with us. Yeah, we have music boxes. We have devices all around us. I mean, already, obviously, upstairs, it was absolutely nuts. They all want us down here for some reason. We're here. Am I right in here? What should I write? Hat man. Nice. All right. To the hat man. We've been talking to you. Come into this circle. We've left it open. And let us know who you are. We're going to ask you some questions. Just use your voice and respond to them. Or come touch any of the toys that you were playing with earlier. God, it's hot in here. Maybe take out the DR. We gotta. We want to hear their voice now. I want to hear like who the Hat Man sounds like, or who whoever is trying to talk to us sounds like. All right. Can you tell us your name? Is the Hatman here with us? How do you feel about the ritual we did upstairs? Are there dead bodies down here? Is there a floor in this building you want us to come to? We're in the basement. You can say one, two, or three. Did you murder witches? Where are you? If I can ask you one thing, why do you target people? What do you want from them? It's so hard to breathe down here. It's very muck. I don't know if it's for you guys the same. I'm like, yo, oh, my chest is tight and I'm sweaty. It's fucking hot down here, too. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to listen, Josh? You want me to? Yeah. All right, ready?
Yes. Three. Whoa. Oh. 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 What's that one? I'm playing that one more time. Three or three. yes, three. Yes. Yes. Basement? Oh, some of that's yeah. us at the end, no? No. Them! Holy Yo, fuck. what the fuck? It says them. Wait a minute, what if they can't talk to us because they they can't get into the circle, although we did leave it kind of open. We left it open. Okay, I was just... Yeah, I wasn't sure. Okay. How about we put what if we put it of the circle? exactly oh. sit inside Bah. Of the circle. No, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to set the DR60 outside of the circle. I'm going to ask you again. Is the hat man here with us? Are you someone that's accused of being a witch? What is your name? Well, can we slow that down? Is I, I I'm trying to figure out how to do that too. I don't remember. I can't figure out how to slow it down. Whatever. What is your name? Hat! Holy shit! Hat! Hat. Did it die? No fucking way! It just no fucking way! The DR60 died. When, you, when, when it you said, ever, when it you, said hat. Yo, what the fuck? Dude. I've never had a DR60 die during a session. I've only, I never. I don't know time. if I ever did either. I never, don't know. Never. Do you want me to get batteries? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta to get this thing back up. It's that's in crazy. here, and then what's your name, Hat? Dude, that's awesome. So I went upstairs to grab new batteries for the DR60 because this is the first time it's ever died while we've been listening back to the session, which I think is also really weird and we should point that out. But let's listen to it uninterrupted. I'm gonna ask you again, is the hat man here with us? Are you someone that's accused of being a witch? What is your name? Did it seriously oh. just die no! again? No! No fucking way, bro! There's Whoa. no fucking way! It died again. There is no the fucking wait, way wait, that wait, happened wait. twice! Wait. I know what's happening. Did it, wait, did it die right after the same After stuff? I said it, so now it seems like it died? Like, could, could, do we have batteries to play? It's not, yeah, it's like, not it's not dead no more. The, it, I recorded a clip on accident, number 40, after you stopped, well, after the whole session stopped. 40, right here. Just Dude. take a look. I can show you guys. I've never seen that happen this is, ever. This is yes. 39. That is crazy. And that yeah. means that whatever's here doesn't want us to hear what their answer was. And it's cutting off the audio. Dude, So facts. we can't hear it. Facts. 39 That's is right scary here. scary stuff. This is the clip we recorded. No one touched it. We showed it so many times. Yeah. This is clip 40. I recorded immediately afterwards when I was just fucking around like trying to play it. I accidentally recorded this. Yeah, yeah. I have... Shh, shh. No way. It's just nothing. It's just nothing. Dude. I just, I, I hit the record button on accident. So they stopped, it, it, so they stopped the fucking recording. And oh I, shit. The thing is, I saw you okay. 
the red button to stop it. Yes. I got confused no, for a minute. I thought the, the I mean, vice yeah, we, died. We just replaced and the we replaced the batteries. That's what we all thought. Okay. But it, but it was actually the, them stopping it our the record. Yes. It was well, the, the batteries. The batteries Facts. were dead. The batteries were dead. It's on camera. Oh, yeah, the God. battery is flashing. It's it's dying. Dude, you, when you said, all right, like you, you uh, who asked about the hat man? I forgot, but like it said hat, right? Yes. And then after that question, it dies. It doesn't want to be heard. Oh, oh wait. Sh I thought I just heard a lot. Is that a fucking there. rumble upstairs? Yes. This is the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I say we go upstairs. 100%. Yo! Oh! Yo! Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck was that? Holy fuck! Dude, you all heard Where the run, obviously, the running. Shh, shh, shh. It's like it was running upstairs. It, was... it sounded like it came from fucking down here. Boom, it's boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 yes. boom, boom. Like, yes, upstairs. upstairs. That's where they're going. What the fuck? We just fucking talked about that. What the fuck, bro? Oh my god, look at it. it. scared us all out of the circle. No, I'm still in it. Oh, you're still in it. Not me. <laughs> Not me. Not you. Yo. Hey, Josh's still in it. Straight up. Yo, what the fuck? I don't even know if I can even go upstairs. Like, actually, that's fucking crazy. Yo, I just want to make sure no one's broken. Come, come check the floor. You think someone corners. broke it? I mean, does that not sound like someone actually Dude. just like running upstairs? Oh, that's my hand. That's my hand. Is anybody else freaked out that someone might be in here? Yeah. 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 I'm just more scared now that I don't want to film keep filming. Hello? Yo. <gasps> Did I? It was like a... I heard I heard that. I thought I said hey. If you broke in here, we rented this property legally. I thought it was just right here. I thought someone said hey to us. Hey. Like that thing. Talking about the fucking footsteps. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it sounded like it went it upstairs. Been, it could have been right here. Where we talked about all your steps right fucking here. Oh, I forgot. Oh. Was that a growl? Yes. Hello? You guys locked the door, right? Yeah. I don't remember. I hope so. I did. This is unlocked. <laughs> Shit. That was unlocked the whole time. Yo! Yo! What? what? The ball down the fucking stairs? No. Was the fucking ball down the stairs? No, we no, placed no, it. No. Or am I stupid? Wait, Red, have you up there on the yeah, What? Yeah, Look, yeah, yeah, this yeah. face is pointing at us. Fuck it. Yeah, you're scared the shit out of me. I'm just saying. What the fuck, I'm bro? On a what the fuck? Alert. That is fucked up. Dude, the smiley face is fucking oh, looking right at us. Weird. <laughs> oh, Dude. Well, let's check the static wait, and wait, see Wait, wait, make sure, know. let's make sure no one's in here. Oh, fuck! Oh, that's you, that's you, that's you, that's you, that's you. Dude, what else Dude is like that? this is no joke. God oh. damn it. So you check the door? Yeah, not this one. Check it. All right, locked. so it's locked. locked. We got this roll. We just fell, so I'm gonna cut it here, and we'll just rewatch it. So we it. have actual yeah. footage of that coming down. That's good. Yeah. I just want to make sure nobody broke into this house. We will call the police. Well, I heard, I heard something. I heard like a. <gasps> yeah, I heard, I heard that. that. Yeah. Just announce that you're here, and we'll let you leave. Yep. Uh huh. Oh my God, bro. So now what? Nice. No. I think we have to go up there and do the S. Just we haven't even been up there in this whole video. So, should we go do? I'm sweating like a motherfucker. I was so nervous. Let's just go up you and go look. Up. You go up. I know. All of us go up. All of us go up. Search the place quick. Make sure no one's there. If you're here, 
Please let us know. We'll just let you walk out. Josh. What? No. This door's fucking shut. Was it open? Well, this one was open, but... Open that door. I didn't check down in there, but I did check. No one. Just your bed and shit. It's my yeah, it's yeah, the hat filthy man, clothes. Yeah. All right. What about you? So now, the more I keep going, to the more obviously we're all thinking the same thing. It's just the uh, a ghost. What about the top top floor? What about this? That's it. What's down here? What's in here? Have we been in here? Yeah. Oh, this is where yeah, yeah, yeah. I said George Washington's room. All right, there's nobody here. Hey, I'm though. All right, all right, that's, yeah, no one's going in there. Just to be sure, man. All right, last room. Hello? Literally, where we're doing Estes. Careful, careful. Hit the lights. Hit the lights before you go out. No. Wait, they're not on or are they on? Oh, they're uh, on. Nothing? <laughs> well, it just means we have some of the best go first. ghost oh, evidence ever again. This is the only place to have someone to be at. See, and that's the thing, it's weird because I'm like, now that, you know. <laughs> you know what's crazy? <laughs> that's, that's it. Through our search to find somebody, the hat man brought us to his room that Sam said he was in earlier. Look at where we're fucking standing right now. This is the last this room is we what, checked. But this is On what, accident, too. That's what they wanted. Or it. That's what I'm saying. The whole time. Oh, it feels fucking weird. It, it is. Yeah, it? yeah. I feel getting chills, actually. It really is weird. Oh yeah, I have goosebumps all over my yep. like, yeah. arm. But just one arm, not the other one. Yep. Just one arm. It's just like it's weird. It's but, like heavy in here, bro. By far, again, like I said, the best compelling maybe evidence I've ever got, or one of the top five, is right here in this place. It's insane. As much as we can laugh and try to be lighthearted, this is fucking scary. I don't like what's happened tonight. And I think we took it a step too far. No, we did. I really do. No, we, I, 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 really I 100% do. know we took it too far. Like, this is it. We're going to do it. We're going to do this. Let's finish this out. Let's do it. We got our headphones together and started our Estes method of investigation. All right, rolling. Here we go, guys. Can't hear. Absolutely not. <clears throat> Couldn't give up. Boys. Me. Is the hat man here with us? Not human. Right. Dement, Dementor? De oh. Sound like some Harry Potter thing. So, is the hat man evil? Hat? Is the hat man evil? Is the hat man in this room? Dead. If you're dead, where, where, where is your grave? Where were you buried? Buried there. In the cemetery or under the house? Where is Whatever there? you think. I think. On top. Is the house on top of your burial? Buried here. So here, under this house. Um, what was your name? Don't worry. Woman. I'm a woman. I'm not worried. I just want to know your name. Fuck you. Hey. Hatman, is that you? Or are you a spirit? Hatman! Oh. Clear as day. 
Padme, what do you want? Why? Don't stand here. Padman, what if I sleep in this room tonight? He's watching. Who is he watching? Who does he see? I won't tell. How many of us is he watching? Give me a number. Hat. What? Just the woman named Daryl? Hatman, who are you? Are you... Are you a person that was buried here or are you not human? I'm whatever you want. Whoa, that's a good answer, hat man. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, no, that was a little rude. I'm sorry. I've never heard them say that. Hat man, do you have the power to hurt me or move things? You moved the ball earlier. Who are you gonna want more power. Who are you, gonna you can take it. We have batteries everywhere. Listen. You can take our energy too. Something dead. Is someone going to be dead in the morning? Danger. You're done. Hatman, you know you have to go away at sunrise. This is going to be painful. Oh my god. What's going to be painful? <clears throat> oh god. <laughs> <coughs> I'm making you cough. My throat just <clears throat> got really scratchy all of a sudden, but it's good now. <sighs> Am I your target? Is that why you're making me cough? <clears throat> asshole. <laughs> why do you think why do you think I'm an asshole? Is it because I'm not afraid of you? Hatman. Strong between. What's strong between? Is it your relationship with Sam? Sam. Okay. What? Why do you uh? Why do you want to hurt Sam? Energy. You want his energy. Does he have a certain type of energy that you want? Hard to tell. So Heartache. Okay. Who uh who hurt your heart? Or do you have the power to give someone heartache? Hold. Thought it said hold me. Huh. <laughs> that's weird. Hat man, do you just wanna Or maybe that's a different spirit? Is there anyone else here in this room with us? I don't need to listen to you. That's definitely hat man. Want energy. Okay. You can you can take it. I'd love to see what Give. you do with it. Yeah, sure. Give. Yeah, take it. You can take the battery battery power from his camera or Josh's. Or both. Physical. How can we give you physical energy? Are you gonna take My it? bed's vibrating. I oh, feel it. Shit. I feel like someone's sitting on the fucking bed. Oh my god. I feel it. Is that you, Hatman? Are you here? Are you trying to affect us? Right Just now? go. Yeah. Hatman! Fuck. Sorry. Hear me. Sorry. Sorry. Fuck. Sorry, he's not here. No, maybe he is. I think he is, but Hatman. Fuck. When you said physic. Dude, dude, I feel like I'm getting touched in the back keep, now. It's fucking keep, scary. Keep going, keep going. I got a really important question. Hatman, you said that you want physical energy. Are you. Physically sitting on the bed right now next to Josh. Are you making this bed vibrate? You're gonna deserve it. Are you here? Are you sitting next to Josh? Are you gonna Don't go. We won't You're gonna deserve it. Oh god. What what is what does Josh deserve? What is he gonna what are you gonna do? I'm waiting. What are you waiting for? I'm now feeling like my legs are feeling weird. And I was scared from you I, because you jumped and I felt the vibration from you. Oh, shit. 
Hat Man. Oh, dude, it's the weirdest feeling behind my neck, too. I've never had, like, this. It's insane right now. I'm just... Hatman, are you behind Josh? Are you taking Josh's energy? Do you not like that we did the seance today? Hatman. 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 Chest. Are you are you doing something that's breathing? Yo, I'm fine. I feel weird. Do you still hear anything in the? Huh? Are you, can you still hear some? Uh, <coughs> answer. Oh my god, dude, are you you good? Your eyes are all teary. Uh, dude, are you good? You guys good over there? Yo, I I'm feeling weird. I think Josh is like choking up. I was choking up earlier too. I, get, I got a scratchy throat, and now Josh is really not... Apparently, he said his chest is burning up. Yeah, my chest right now is burning in my throat. Jesus. Are you okay? Yeah, um, I don't think... I don't know. I mean... I mean, I, how, how do you feel? Is it, like, really bad? Or are you, like... Um, are you good to... It's definitely a weird feeling, man. I mean, yeah, your eyes are pretty pretty watery right now. <laughs> it's like a... Like a scratchiness, and it's it's coming in here. Yeah. I can hear it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna stop. Are you okay, Josh? Um, I'm just getting like the weirdest feelings now. Like, what? He's like, uh, his chest was burning up, and, it's like um, burning up, and his I'm throat, not as good. his throat got scratchy, mine got pretty scratchy too earlier. Like it's like super heavy uh, on my throat, like, I don't know, I don't feel good. You okay? I mean, I don't know, I just never had a feeling like that, and like, they were sitting on my bed, I felt like someone was on my bed, I and mean, then I felt like my neck got touched, my legs, <sighs> and now like, I just don't feel that good. <sighs> it is 4 a.m. We quit Arrestus. How do you feel though? Not good at all. Do you feel like you connected with them? For sure. He gave me some I don't compelling know. answers. Let's just say that. Because the bed was vi the the bed was vibrating. Did you feel the bed vibrating? I didn't feel it. I don't know if I could really see it, but I got the camera on it. Oh, dude. And <laughs> I don't actually feel and good. Actually, what's crazy was um, my like stomach's actually hurting now. I asked him what kind of energy he's trying to get, and then you said physical. And right after you said physical, I asked, what does that mean? And you started saying that your bed was vibrating. You Dude, no, I don't feel good, actually. Oh, shit. What well, do you look rough? It's like, it's like a burning trap sensation, like what Sam's saying. Uh-huh. But, like, I mean, it's like... I can't breathe that good. Oh, from what? Out of nowhere? Just out of nowhere. After I felt the bed vibrate. So now I'm just like, I don't know. You think Probably you need to just, step outside or something? I think so. Really? Just to check, like, get myself step out. Step outside? To get out. Because feel so bad. It's that bad. I'm not even fucking around. Fuck. Like. You want to pause? Hey, really? Yeah. yeah. I'm starting to shake now. Yeah, is it cool if I follow you and just film Everyone this, you know? Everyone can follow you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. to us, by the way, whoever's yeah. in here. Yeah, thank you to the hat man. I'm You've like made yourself a, known. I'm getting so a burning. Oh. From like, like here, oh. in the ear, like a burning. Like, Dude. Burning. Jeez. Holy fuck. Are Wait. you okay? Like, for real, like not even like joking, like... I'm starting to get dizzy now. Dude, you sound it's choked like here up. To here. You sound really getting, choked like, up. You sound choked. weird. He sounds fucking weird. Like, no joke. Like, <clears throat> this was no, no so joke. Honestly, stop fucking with us if you are. I mean, we asked No, for dude, it. I got some That's weird right. answers no, in the yes to this. This all adds up. I think it really adds up. This guy was trying to hurt us. You're going to do it rough. Holy shit, even my nose is running. Yo, okay. let me see. It's like they're strangling me. Yeah. It's like literally like I'm getting strangled. This is like 
actually happening. Yeah, his burning. voice sounds weird. Yeah, dude, it's burning. It's a burning thing from here to here. I'm getting like, like strangled. Like they're trapping me. Like in a way, it's like insane. Like, and before oh that, the gosh. bed was vibrating, and um, like, <clears throat> dude, oh my god, no, <laughs> no, like actually, man, seriously, bro, are, you, are you good? I don't like, know. Honestly, like medically, are you good? Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. actually don't know. Oh, you want to be like, careful about this shit. Let's just come out here for a minute. Like, bro, I'm even getting hot. Like, like I'm, I'm hot. Like, I'm not, it sounds funny, but like, shh, fucking hell. You gonna be okay? I don't know, let's just come out. I bet you look rough. Do I? You, yeah, yeah, you, you look worse scary. and worse now, actually. You look terrible, bro. <laughs> it's like, bad. It's like, it not, it's not bad. even funny. It's like, actually, it's kind of scary. It's like really weird too how it happened because we're sitting in the bed and we're, it's vibrating. Like I said, I got tingles all around me and it was just getting worse and worse. And yeah, I still can't talk actually. Oh man, it's like, it's like a choking though. That's what I can, ex if I had to explain it, it's like a choking and it's hard to talk. Almost like raspiness, like I inhaled a lot of smoke. That's like the best way to put it. <sighs> but it's like it's hitting me. That's Even so fine. <clears throat> you feel fine, right? So well, the only thing I can think of is because I had a bit of a scratch earlier before he he got hit. So maybe like, it's because I, I, I did it in that I room. Choked up. Well, remember because they I said it's totally in the room up. with the, yeah. we're gonna affect it. It's starting to go away now a bit, like it is now. Right now, I felt I'm, I was like breathing. It was a bit better, but it's like I'm closing in though. That's the thing. I'm like closing in. <coughs> okay. That's scary. Yeah. No, honestly, are you okay? I don't know. Dude, he like, looks like just fucking watch. shit. Yeah. From a minute honestly. ago to now, is my face red? Yes. Yeah, dude. Your eyes, my eyes are glossy. It's getting worse by the second, dude. Okay. That's why I'm worried then. You wanna, this is one experience I've never had. You wanna like, take sometimes a... I'll get dizzy and drowsy or pale. Yeah. But this one yeah. was like. Oh, yeah. Yo, let me look at your face. You have red. Under all your eyes. Do I? Yeah, I all under your all eyes. Night. You like, look like you're on the verge of crying. Your uh, your face Dude, is also like kind of swollen too. I don't well, know. That's, well, is it's because it like th they're ta they're like choking me. Jesus, that's what it is. You think? Are you, you okay? You think you want to go on a walk maybe down the road? I don't know. Yeah, maybe we should just walk. I don't know. We should stop. Should the we go away from the cemetery? Walk. Maybe towards the witch house? If you like. I mean, I'm genuinely concerned for your health. Like, are you? I okay? don't know. I want to stop filming. I don't Josh know. Doesn't feel good. Well, let's just take a break and we'll cut later. Let's just stop filming and then like, take a yeah, break. Yeah, we'll see how you feel. Yeah. yeah. Just right. cuz. Yeah. I might actually need water, to be honest. Okay. At this point. Let's just cut. All right. All right, guys. I didn't know where to set this up or start this, so let me kind of like put, turn this off real quick. All right. Let me set this up. We are in the George Washington room. Should be all right. Okay. So, last night, and by you, my, my stomach right now is like a little sore from yesterday. Some of the weirdest feelings ever. So, out of breath a bit, but last night was one of the most intense nights I've had in a long time. And it's actually the most scariest night I've had for ghost hunting ever. You know, I've been scratched multiple times. I was affected before where I got really pale, loss of energy, where I felt like I was being drained. That was even with Nick Groft. Uh, we did like a haunted museum. But tonight, last night, or tonight, was one of the most insane things that could have ever happened to me where I know for sure, 1000% ghosts, evil, or anything is possible and is out there. Now, I know ghosts have been there. I already know all this. Ghosts are real, everything, you know what I mean? But this can really assure someone or me that this is the real deal. Now, last night Colin said, when we were doing, in, you know, the, the not the Ouija, se the Ouija session, but some, the summoning circle we were in, he said when, the, when it gets light out, you have to leave when he said that. Sam came in here and Sam also says the hat man's here. So the hat man probably either came with Sam 
or, you know, and by hat man, that's what we manifested and call it because Sam said it. But if it's not hat man, it's definitely someone that co-name, you know, from a history, it could be anyone. Regardless of the fact is, Colin said, when it's light out, you have to leave. So that night when we were out there and I was really sick and I had to leave, when I left the area, because again, my throat was closing up, chest was on fire. Someone was like pressing on me and making me feel like I, I was losing my oxygen. Like I was swelling up. Eyes were starting to tear up. Face was getting red. I was getting hot. It was a feeling that if I had to look at someone, I've seen someone had an allergic reaction before, that's kind of like what I thought it was for someone or how I thought it felt like, because I never had one. But that's, what, that's the best way I can describe this. So I go outside, I escape the area I was in to, to kind of like relax. It started to finally go away. Got kind of sick, I come back in, and things were just getting better. I didn't want to sleep there. I didn't want to stay the night, but Colin was right. It was 5.30 in the morning or 5 a.m. I could not get a hotel if I wanted to. I could not sleep outside in the car. I was just stuck here. So I didn't sleep on the third floor. I slept into the second floor in the bedroom across from this room I'm in now. Things were starting to lighten up and get better. And one of the reasons why is remember Colin said, when it gets light out, when the sun comes up, you have to leave. And sure enough, the sun was starting to come up. It was starting to really, the morning, everything was rising. So that could be a good reason on why I started to feel better or I started to feel better just because I left and I kind of resetted the energy and the levels. But I came in here and I did go to bed. It took a while, but I did go to bed. And I started to feel less scared and everything when things were kind of starting to calm down. I did not go on the third floor anymore. Um, we are about to leave here now, but I just wanted to kind of talk and bring this up. Um, you guys take this how you want. You know, honestly, it it is insane. Something that's going to haunt me forever. This night, like, it is legit. I stayed calm. I did, you know, better. A lot of times in my videos, I see the comments, Why'd you run away? Why'd you leave? Are you a ghost hunter? And it's true. A lot of times I'm always the first to bail. So I kept that in my head for tonight's video. When things get real, I'm always the first or some of them to want to leave. But I stayed. Didn't record it, but I'm still here. It's the next day, so I'm gonna go now. So um, thanks again, guys. I have a Patreon account, link in the description down below. Check it out. That Patreon helps fund these trips, like this Airbnb. Um, it helps fund my, my food, my travels, every all the expenses we need to make these videos. So I appreciate it. If you want to check it out, the Patreon has different tier levels. You can get merch from Patreon, exclusive stickers only Patreon users get. I have a Discord server for it. Um, I have a merch. Oh, I'm not wearing my merch, actually. But I have a merch store, link in the description down below, called riseabub.shop. And I have a multiple channels that you guys can see other content. It means a lot if you guys want to check it out. I work really hard. And, yeah. I think this is a great haunted place to be in in Salem. I don't think there's actually anything necessarily evil in this house. I think this is a great place to ghost hunt and you will have a great time. It's known for a little boy that haunts the place and a girl that kind of looks out the window and things like that. This place is actually an amazing place to rent out and sleep here. I love it. I love this place a lot, despite what happened. I think whatever that person was or the hat man or whatever is already gone. So it's a great place to stay the night. Don't get me wrong. And if you are edgy and you just want to try to get that crazy experience, maybe you could get it. Um, it's definitely a one in a lifetime. I've been doing this for four years. I've never had anything like that happen. But we, that was us wanting that, manifesting that. So I don't know if that could happen. It could have been Sam's entity that did that. So, but now I feel way better. I love this. I actually love this place in the heart of Salem. And I highly recommend staying the night here at this Airbnb. I think it's beautiful. So... That's just my two piece. I would I would stay here again. Rise above. Just get on to explore. Peace and thanks for watching.